Welcome back, food lovers. Today, we're diving into one of Indonesia's most comforting and flavorful dishes, sapiga, or Indonesian beef rib soup. This hearty dish is loved for its rich broth, tender ribs, and a perfect balance of spices. But beyond its delicious taste, sapiga has a history and cultural significance that many people don't know about. In this video, we'll be sharing some lesser-known facts about sapiga and, of course, showing you how to make this soul-soothing dish. Sapiga, which literally translates to rib soup, is a popular Indonesian dish made from beef ribs simmered in a fragrant broth with spices like garlic, shallots, ginger, and nutmeg. This dish is hearty and warming, making it a favorite comfort food, especially during the rainy season. But there's more to sapiga than just its taste, its roots run deep in Indonesian culinary traditions. Sapiga is believed to have originated in Java, though it is now enjoyed across the Indonesian archipelago. This dish was traditionally made in homes using local spices and fresh, locally sourced beef. It was initially considered a meal for special occasions due to the long cooking process required to tenderize the ribs. Over time, however, it has become a beloved everyday dish. During Indonesia's colonial period, Dutch settlers brought with them the tradition of meat-based soups. Over time, the locals adapted these soups using Indonesian spices, giving rise to a new category of rich, flavorful broths like sop iga. The mix of European-style slow cooking and Indonesian spices is what gives sop iga its unique taste. While the flavor of sop iga comes from the combination of basic spices, did you know that many of these ingredients are sourced directly from Indonesia's spice islands? Like nutmeg from Banda or cloves from the Moluccas? These spices have been traded for centuries and give sop iga its deep, aromatic flavor. Back in the day, sop iga was traditionally cooked over an open wood fire, giving the soup a smoky flavor that's hard to replicate in modern kitchens. The ribs would simmer for hours, allowing the meat to become incredibly tender while soaking up the flavors of the spices. This slow cooking method is key to achieving the perfect sop iga. Now, let's talk about how to make sop iga at home. The main ingredient is, of course, beef ribs. The secret to a good sop iga is in the broth, so we're going to start by simmering the ribs with garlic, shallots, ginger, nutmeg, and peppercorns for a couple of hours until the meat is tender. Host shows the step-by-step -step process of preparing the soup, boiling the ribs, sautéing the spices, and creating the broth. Sop iga isn't just tasty, it's packed with nutrients. The slow cooking process helps release collagen and minerals from the beef ribs, 
which are known to support joint health and boost the immune system. The addition of garlic and ginger also brings anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting properties, making sop biga not only a comfort food but also a nutritious meal. While the classic Sop Iga recipe comes from Java, did you know there are regional variations of this dish across Indonesia? In West Sumatra, for example, they add a spicier kick using local chili peppers, while in East Java, the broth is sometimes thickened with coconut milk to make it even richer. Each region adds its own twist to this beloved dish. Another fun fact, Sop Iga is a popular dish in Wartegs, which are small, humble food stalls found throughout Indonesia. These roadside eateries serve traditional home-style meals at affordable prices, and Sop Iga is often one of the most requested items. It's not just reserved for special occasions anymore, you can find it being enjoyed by everyday Indonesians as a quick and satisfying meal. Once your ribs are tender and the broth is full of flavor, it's time to serve. Sop Iga is usually enjoyed with steamed rice and a side of sambal, an Indonesian chili paste that adds extra heat. The tender beef ribs fragrant broth, and spicy sambal make for the perfect combination. Host takes a spoonful of the soup and smiles at the camera. Believe it or not, Sop Iga has been served at international diplomatic events as a way to showcase Indonesian culture. The dish is rich, complex flavors are a point of pride for Indonesia, and it's often featured at banquets and formal gatherings to introduce foreign guests to the country's diverse culinary heritage. Sop Iga is more than just a bowl of soup, it's a dish that's deeply connected to Indonesia's culinary history and culture. From its Dutch colonial influences to its regional variations, this humble rib soup has become a symbol of comfort and warmth across the country. If you're looking for a meal that's hearty, flavorful, and rich in tradition, Sop Iga is definitely one to try. One key ingredient that often gets overlooked in Sop Iga is galangal. This aromatic root is similar to ginger but has a milder, citrusy flavor. It's an essential spice in Indonesian cuisine, helping to balance the richness of the beef with a touch of brightness. Galangal is also believed to have medicinal properties, aiding in digestion and reducing inflammation. So, when you're enjoying a bowl of sop iga, Remember that you're also getting a dose of natural healing power. Sop Iga isn't just a meal, it often plays a role in traditional Indonesian ceremonies. For example, it's served at Salamatan, a communal feast that marks important life events like weddings, births, or even moving into a new home.
The hearty, nourishing qualities of Sa Biga make it a fitting dish for these celebrations, symbolizing strength and prosperity for the family. Indonesia is home to many delicious soups. But did you know Sa Biga shares similarities with other regional dishes like Soto and Raan? While Soto is often lighter with a turmeric-based broth, Raan, hailing from East Java, has a darker, richer broth made with black kaluak nuts. Though each soup has distinct flavors, they all share a base of slow-cooked meat and aromatic spices that highlight Indonesia's love for deeply flavored broths. Over the years, chefs have experimented with sop iga, creating modern variations of this traditional dish. Some upscale restaurants add a fusion twist by serving it with noodles, while others incorporate international flavors like truffle oil or foie gras to elevate the dish. These creative takes are helping sop iga gain global recognition, while still honoring its traditional roots. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed learning about Saf Biga and its unique history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next culinary adventure. Leave a comment below if you've tried Saf Biga or if there's another Indonesian dish you'd like me to explore.